globally, and they've got a different beast coming their way. They're rushing the A bomb site, trying to get aggressive, but it's being held here by Ghost and Dapper. His tripwire is activated, and Bunny goes down the spike. It should be going down, but a 4v5 retake. You're already down in players, and you've gone down a second. Uh, already beautiful. I gotta say, though, One it's not too standing. shabby at all. I'm actually really close. Unfortunately, the drip wire just did so uh, much damage, Sinatra. and there's the spray. Sinatra, his signature move on an ascent map. He takes it one down, and now one the three follow. One more to find, and it looks like, well, a guaranteed three nil start here for the center of West Tucker to pull some magic, but he's not gonna find much. Shazam up in the sky, and he's oh, he very aggressive out middle. He'll be spotted out. Is he looking up the flick back? No, Shazam though is clicking up. He doesn't save his teammate's life, but Shazam will do one better and take three down. This is, this is textbook. From Sentinels right now. Quick peek splashes and everything. It's making it look so damn easy. Figment in a one versus Found three. Them. He's only on third game. Very easy, but this time with a Phantom. He's still easy. gonna be trying to do his job the best he possibly on. can. And my god, he's gonna be gifted a massacre over towards B. It's him and Sticky do all the damage. And oh my god! It's got credits to spend, and it looks like again. They're going to be sent really back with Sinatra sending a Hunter's Fury from long range. Spots out Tucker, takes him down, and once more Sentinels are in control with Rustin trying to lurk up down middle. Oh no. <laughs> it continues. Thing is though, this is a really, really great place for Sentinels to pivot and maybe take a round. I mean, obviously with the opening kill, it helps a lot. So, you know. Right now we fine. just have to wait for the fall to happen. Four ultimates on the board for spot up, so they could easily maybe drag this back if they wanted to pull out the blade storm, something like that. Obviously, the lockdown will be pretty huge, and otherwise, they're just gonna have to rely a lot on you should maybe run. an early frag from Kentucky. I say early because it's before the actual execute happened. There's a teleport, there's a lockdown, so all the very fruitful parts of the potential execute going well for them. Bunny somehow doesn't die when he's Cover stepping out now. of the shadows, and from the shadows. Bring another player down to him. Blade Sword. 30 seconds left. Come online though, and the thing Fight is, planting. Shazam, he's kind of nutty with this sort of thing. Oh. That's exactly why he's bringing a verticality element into this round, and it is working out peachy. One player remaining. Oh, but now it's just Shazam. He doesn't have the knives anymore. He's pulled them back out, switches back to the Phantom. Maybe wants to get a little bit frisky with it for the clip, and Shazam! Verticality indeed. He stands above Bunny. Five to one. Make it six to one. Sentinel strike right back. It's down to the wire though again here in Spot him. They're bringing some kind of heat, right? They've got credits they've got guns. Really throws banner into the works for the side of spot up here. Unfortunately it's not even gonna get that far. They're dead before they can even reach the site it feels like. It takes two victims. 30 seconds That's a bit left. of a toll to actually getting the spike down. But they do at least force a very planted. important I guess uh storyline. You know? Now they can build a bit of a story around the spike get that has gone down. Way. They can oh, try to maybe feet. force another pick if they're lucky. That breach is actually oh. gonna do major work for them here. Not to be warded off by it, Bunny will still lurk in the back line here. One and the thing is, Sick is not ready for it. It's going to be a free kill for Bunny and most likely a second round for the side of Spot Up. Has to be at this point, but Sinatra, he knows where he is, jumps on down! Sheesh. Nearly finds Bunny's body, but unfortunate. Back line for us here, but he has to break down that door. That's going to be a ton of information given up. It's still 4v4 though. We're Sorry, staying not. relatively healthy on both sides of the equation. But obviously one side is going to be slightly more biased than the other who's going to be able to win this. And that is, of course, the boys on spot up. One actually one making this really competitive. It comes down to 1v1. It, I don't think that was nearly as scary as I thought it'd be. Dom's a great paranoia, but it hasn't gotten anything. And he's even caught looking the wrong way. Bunny holds his head beneath stairwell and finds himself the first frag is even arrived to the wow. scene takes down shazam zom just finally chimed in the a bombs like it's completely open dapper's no longer there to activate those cypher cages and there's nothing they can do except sit watch and wait for the retake oh no zom just has to wait to bide his time break down that door mr gorbachev do everything you can but just right, to hold the line the thing is figment he has a hunter's fury if he still wanted to he could hide but i don't think he even needs to Hide and seek is not exactly a game Kampeki exactly wants to play. He'll take these tracks and he'll take even a third. Six to five. King Heaven. You know, they have a turret make contact with everything. So those knives will still be a factor, but we're heading into the post point here in a 5v5 story. 
Yeah, damage done though off of that 100 here. It finds contact onto both Tucker and Khan. That, that could come into effect later on in this round, but doesn't seem to be affecting Tucker. Finds the first, and now Vigil is trying to pivot off of that. Sick though is sick indeed. A double off the Bulldog. Rolling Thunder to send them reeling back in the path of one. In comes the swing. Sick has got a third. This is indeed sick. An amazing round from him. It's just one to find, and it will end with the lead for Sentinels. 7-2-5. They make it. Sick to see how confident a team is. You know, if they if they feel comfortable forcing in such a crazy situation. Then Pecky, eager to take a fight over towards A main, will lose his life. And I'm pretty sure any hope that we had, uh, maybe this pistol going the way, or this second round, I should say, Spike going planted. the way of spot up, has easily been dashed away by now. Rust up. At least you get a nice kill for good measure with the classic. Not often a gun that I feel like can ever get you clean kills. But Leave it to Rustin to go ahead and prove us wrong, I suppose. This is already pretty decent damage again. Three kills found, or two kills found. If they make it three, then Destroy. things actually are looking pretty good. One enemy remaining. Figment. Oh, close. Okay. Right click. He can maybe even get something here. This is actually crazy. It would have been a ninja, but no. The spike planted in favor of Shazam. Just holding with a sheriff around the corner. Get, like happy with this. Get out of my way! Fast play, and they've been read like a book, but there's Konpeki right above Pigment. Takes down Zoo, and Konpeki finds the final there. And a quick play from both these teams. They wanted to get aggressive on both sides, and only one comes out on top. The support play from Konpeki. Great use of that ultimate for a very, very fast swing. They've definitely come out the better of them. Konpeki will continue to hold this angle. There are two players still waiting, and he even has the knives out. Right click onto each of them will take them both down, and... Adver's getting a little bit aggressive spots. The first right click does miss, and that's an opening now. They've got to capitalize on it, and Adver's done exactly that. It's just down to one. Rustin, the b side anchor, has to find it in him to clutch this one out. I cannot believe it has even gotten this far. That is absurd. That was like a gorgeous crossfire that they had set up. Sure, you know, the player wasn't watching A main from grass. I think it was a Sova. Um, but, like, I still feel like on that s sound cue, the jet should have tried to peek out and out get a kill charges. with the knives, but no, apparently not. They just gave respect to the name right there. Rust done. That turret does spot somebody that he can maybe pre-fire. Unfortunately, for some reason, x rays don't seem to be on for the attack. Front of here has kept them back just a little bit, but that rolling thunder will send them on in. TP in the back lines as well from Zombs. He's made his way all the way in. They don't even realize. They don't even know. You should run. They don't even got all this ground, but it doesn't even need. It doesn't even matter at that point. Killjoy ultimate's gone in as well. This could cause some spike disruption planted. as the spike goes down. They'll be able to back away safely and commence a 4v3 retake. Oh my god, they're cutting it a bit down to the wire there. Wine is now fully occupied by members of the Sentinel squad here. 4v3, spam angle, I'm gonna assume it's on point. I, I didn't expect exactly somebody to just basically feed the bees. And somehow Sentinels are still fighting back. They're still actually making this round work. It was a 3v4. Funny out of nowhere, it's breaks down two! But that rest of the sentinels really but he's made his presence known the thing is now he has to look to shoot the thing is One although he can lead clean ending. shot all he wants he has to rely on his teammates in the end to do all the dirty work and indeed they do that job incredibly well oh, oh tag down even lower sinatra 90 hp 30 shield left does have one recon bolt but better be very careful with how you place that one it won't begin solely Already, we're in the middle of a round, it feels like, because it looks like the fights are ready to happen. No! I it's not even going to be Shazam doing anything with a Blade Storm. That right click apparently just doesn't want to go into the body of an Omen. I know he's like a ghost, but that is ridiculous. Spike planted nonetheless, and we enter a 4v3 in favor of Sentinels. are making it work with Classic, classic Sully. It's a Classic and an eco round to end it all. Konpeki alongside... Oh, the crossfire. Trying to make it work with the crossfire. It doesn't work. Zombs, he's got a ghost now. Drops a smoke and straight through the smoke. Confect, he spotted another. It's just down to two. It's traded back man. so quickly as Tucker finds another. Just down to Sinatra in the back of the site. He's stuck behind the generator. Oh and there's God. three players surrounding him. There's one on his backside as well. It's just a matter of time before he oh, goes he down. Can he find anything though? They know where he is and they're just trying to flush him off. Basically, is that enough? It does seem to be it. Zombs. Picks up the first. They've got the side on lockdown. He's cured. It's a 4v4 with the spike going down. And rotations are made by Rustin. And this is where it gets really intense. This is about as good as you can hope for when it comes to a grass push. Usually you get sprayed through a smoke. You got blinded and pushed or something like that. But no. Everybody got out unscathed. 
They have to use the lockdown just to get a little bit more information. Sentinels have this round basically in the palm of their hands. Although, that doesn't mean it's exactly going to be their round to win. Already, they're starting to fight that spot on. Oh, flash though, flash, a great flash, a spray on through, Shazam's denied the spike, the EP's, it's still a three on three, Bunny's trying to take the fight to them, but Shazam is not done just yet, a spray from Tucker, they're still alive, and they're still in it, but some's alive as well, what? come back from the dead! Probably a really strong defense from Sentinels, but even a better attack, hopefully, come Pecky though, I think it's gonna lock this one down, Spectre. Two players first to go down. Unfortunately, it's Sinatra who bites the dust. Con Becky struggles just a little bit. That's why you got teammates. That's not his teammate, though. The Cypher's on the other side of the map, and Tapper walks into it. He walks Six right stop. into it. Sick. Uh, you're testing the flames just a little bit, buddy. I, 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 know it's, I know we're around the Christmas time, but the cozy campfire, that's not your Molotov. And even if it was, you would still take damage from it. Sam tries to make it work, but Zom's now left at a 1v3. I think it's just been too long since he's played against the Brimstone. He's not used to the Molotov physics. And hey, middle, try and split to the B site, go through the vents like we've seen two times already, both in the pistol round and then hereafter in that gun round we just had. So Konpeki will try and lock this down. He's kind of read into it, but there's the split again. Sinatra and Dapper making pain happen, but Konpeki, he's still locking this one down. He's good for two, but that's not enough. That won't do. Zom has made an adjustment, but he's gone down as well. This is actually looking a little bit clean here on the side of spot on the spike down and everything. Trades go back in foot. Tucker has found one off the main shells. It's just down the one Dapper. How is this turned around? Sentinels, they've lost the round, surely. It's up to Dapper, but Dapper alone is going to try and pull it off. It's just down to one. Cypher v. Cypher now here, Kieran. But Dapper, he's not exactly doing too great, man. He needs a little bit of medical attention. 40 points of health versus Figment's 150 effective. And thing is, the timing isn't exactly wonderful for the Sentinels player either. At this point, Figment has got to be thinking in the back of his mind, maybe he could have fully rotated at this point here. The camera toss in, he sees nothing. Now he needs to immediately start left. thinking about heaven, but he hasn't yet. Now Dapper has made noise, and this will be the perfect time for Figment to go ahead and do a 180. This should be a free kill. It should, by all means, be a free kill, but no, he's gotten away with the spike. He's gotten away with it. He's going to get the spike down. It's damn well become winnable. I cannot believe I'm actually saying this, but Dapper Spike might planted. even have the upper edge. Oh my god. He's gotta know though, surely. Dapper, there's only one place he could be falling into in Figment. He's tapped the spike, he goes around the corner! What? How would Dapper want that? One- Managed to close that one out, but every player in Sentinels is an absolute monster. They're showing their scary face at the moment. Perfect time, considering it's just about Halloween. However, the spookiest hasn't quite arrived yet. Sheriff's bought up for the defensive end of things. And to be honest, this isn't a terrible start that they've gotten. Now, pistols really struggle in the latter part of these rounds. And I, I don't think they're going to get much more than this. But, you know, uh, it's still a good start. One can dream here. And one I can dream. And the dreams are, unfortunately... As you mentioned, Halloween's around the corner. It's turning into a nightmare. Three versus four and low HP for Bonnie. I think he had like one HP. It's at a point in time where his bar is so empty. It looks full and Dapper mops up to Tucker to try and make this happen. A one, two, three. Might actually get something. Oh my god, Tucker. What the hell was that? showstopper. Eight HP. He does indeed. The rocket surely has to come out here. This is the only way he can win it. Damage dealt. 98 exactly off of him. Contact. He's playing around this one though. Lockdown in their face, but Sentinels aren't afraid to face. Sinatra backs away to Frank Duck and Dart, but Dapper's come back for a fight. He's come back to Tussle. Sinatra does one oh, better, but is it enough? They're already oh on the spike. They're trying oh, to strike right. out. I think they just got it. I oh think my they God. Really got it, and it is the Orbital Strike from Hell. That wall has caused enough of a delay, I feel like, and Shazam should get a really big forewarning. You should have all the information in the world. Tucker goes flying out. Showstopper to the face, to the feet of Dapper. It's a one-for-one one trade, but it still leans heavily in favor of the spot upside. It's just down to sick. They know where he is. They know where he's coming from, but even then, Bunny is oblivious. He's blind to that back. Sick. 1v3. Is it enough? No. The first kill is his, but nothing more to follow. And spot up. Make that look spotless. The retake is there, and they take the lead 4-2-3.
Oh my god, again, nothing is completely baffled by everything. Sentinels now, they've decided to change up the pace. They're moving so quick. How they're jumping into sight. It might be a suicidal play, but it seems to be working out just fine for the Sentinels. Two kills for Shazam. The rest of his team already occupying the B bomb site like it's their home from the get go. Now, they wait to try to bring the spike over. They don't even need to get the spike down. They're finding the frags quicker. I don't even have time, time to finish a sentence by the time more kills have already been found. Sentinels, they absolutely crush it, taking five for themselves on the attacking side. However, Rustin hasn't given up hope, but thing is, Dapper will force that hope to be completely called upon it. But the thing is, Sentinels, they might want to read into that. They might say, okay, the lockdown's been called. Let's take our time. Let's wait. They're not going to expect it. And Sinatra, I don't expect this. I never in a hundred years would have expected that Sinatra bouncing his way on through the heavens. And there it is. He sends one up above, but he himself will meet him and greet him in the death lobby. Quick, aggressive, fast-paced style, and it's opened up so much. Because look at that for the space that they wanted to create. That's the thing with the side of Sentinels. Every single attack, it seems they spread their numbers thin. They spread throughout the entirety of the map, and Shazam has spread their numbers thin. Another frag, but it's down to just two. They've got to pull this one back, and Zom just brought one back to the table. It's down to just two again for both sides, and Tucker, he's trying to lurk through this. So he's looking for something, and he's down to another. Just down to one. It's sick. The healer, the sage, to he try and heal this round and make amends. He wins these, man. I, I have no hesitation whatsoever to call this. Sick is a mastermind in the clutch. He's done this a number of times, and I have no hesitation to think he can do it again. His first problem is going to be the side of Tucker, though, and you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have believed that they have planned. There's a reason why they picked Slick here, and maybe it's going to be because Kampeki can get an early kill. That seems like a weird reason, but hey, it's the only reason we have to go off of here, because Kampeki, he has been a hero so far for the side uh, spot up. I think asking for any more would just be, again, maybe a bit too selfish. Oh, that's terrific. Reply. Nah, does this do much though? Sick is nah, the utility usage. Cold. It's utility usage. He slows them down again. It's the power of the Sage, even with those buffs, with even with those nerfs, apologies. A slow orb, a wall to dance around, and look at what spot up have done. They've already backed away. They really can't do much about this. They have to sit, wait, watch, read this play. But they are oh, sticking no. around just a little bit. Shazam is thinking maybe this isn't a hit. They're kind of double thinking themselves. They're double guessing themselves, but sick. He will remain the sole alert. Shazam is going to try and get the better of them. He'll get this information. Yeah, this is a beautiful call. Sentinels, a really great call from Shazam. The IGL and also sometimes a top bragger at times. He's read this one perfectly. He'll get aggressive. He'll have all this early intel. That smoke sent in from Zoms. This is extremely well played from the side of Sentinels. I can't stretch that enough. And Zoms, he's watching up above. Left. They knew this was going to come. They were expecting this, and they've been red like a book. Our paranoia seems to end it already. 20 seconds, and Figment's left in the clutch of a 1v3. It started out so good for Spot Up. Keep in mind, this was a 5v4 made into a 1v3. What a souls. Yeah, man. That last round was a force, if you'd believe it. I know it's kind of hard to tell considering yeah, it, it was is. over in two seconds. And hey, remember what I was saying about the Sage Wall? There you have it. It's useful on pistols exactly for reasons like that. Sick is hungry for a couple of kills. He will get his just desserts. Actually, wait, no, he didn't even grab a kill yeah, there. Every to hold on to this map control and vapor maybe hope that the killjoy does something. Because if so, they need to move quick. They're losing numbers. They're bleeding out One here. And it, it's, it's done. This is what I'm talking about. How do you play against this? I can't think of any realistic way that you're supposed to be able to fight up against this. Sinatra's already waiting around the corner. He's already booked a hotel, and he's made a home. And the spike could go down in an instant. Dapper, he's been getting very aggressive in this position, and it's paid off. It's down. paid off already. Intel at best. Spike has been spotted, and they've got an advantage to lead this round in. <laughs> I'm trying to think of possible Smoke good things. Down. Look at this angle from Sinatra. He is so hungry for frags. This man is playing it like it's ranked. He's on his Smurf account at the moment, and we would never be able to tell because every time he's on his Smurf, he seems to frag out, whether it's Radiant, whether it's Diamond, whatever it is. This man, he's just fragging out hard. Spot up are looking like a silver team. I mean, let's not discredit Spot Up's ability, what they, what they did, what they've done. They're still battling for this. Their lives are on the line, and Sinatra's putting his on the line, his body and everything. 3v3. Ultimate's been called here for Khan Peck, and he is the X Factor. He is the X Factor for Spot Up. He's their soul. He's their chance. And in this 3v3, 
He's taking a chance. He's wrapping back around. They do still have Dapper locking down this B bomb site, but it's a smart call here. They're gonna try and split again. I said it before and I'll say it again. Ascent attack is all about these splits in the B bomb site. It's weakened, it's battered, it's almost broken. Dapper's the last line of defense. He's on the zip line. What can he do? There are players surround him. He'll have that information and now he knows. Dapper, rotations will be called. Shazam is coming through alongside Zoms. And I don't know if they're going to be walking away much sooner here. It's, it just feels so hard not to be biased for Sentinels when they're playing like this, Cage man. Trigger, they found they're wrapped right. around everywhere. They have a protocol in place for this, you know? I mean, how do you... Again, it's just hard to prepare for this. Spot up. They look for something here. They have a Leer. And they have a tripwire. That's it for utility. Maybe they have some hope as well. I'm hoping they 30 seconds right now they're going to need to show some skin. But everybody on Sentinels doesn't seem to believe in the dream. It's 13 to 5 in favor of Sentinels. 